you got two types of people, right? You got the impulsive spenders, and then you have the kind of the more conservative dip toe in the water retirees. And I would say it's probably nine, you know, 10 to 90, 90% of people are the conservative. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to run out of money because every study you see and every, you know, thing you read about says that the number one fear in retirement is running out of money. So anything that involves a splurge would invoke anxiety for 90% of the population uh, that are retired. The industry has brainwashed them with fear for 50 years. So now all they've been hearing is, oh, bacon is an extra dollar. You're not going to make it. Gas is an extra dollar. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it if you don't put all your money in the stock market. You need 87% returns every year. You need to quadruple your money every 15 minutes or you're going to be destitute on the side of the street. So people are so conditioned to be afraid. We have to basically pull them through out of the of the crazy bubble and say, listen, here's why they're doing that. The only way they get paid is if your money is in the stock market taking a bunch of risk that you don't need. And the only way we can do that is show you with things like our roadmap and the income tent. We show them, look, if you spent the same amount of money you had last year and you had the same amount of income you had last year in retirement, and we forecast it out with a little inflation, and we forecast out with some traveling, some health stuff, and we assume a very conservative, let's call it a 5% return. We show you what you have in 25 years. And we do that every year. And the reason isn't, it's not a budget. The reason we do it is one simple reason. I need to get you in the mindset, oh my gosh, I'm not going to run out of money. And if I don't do it every year and keep showing you that you're not going to run out of money, you're going to have these moments where you you turn on the, the you know the Edward Jones commercial or some other fisherman or Edelman saying the world's ending, milk is an extra dollar seventy five. Oh no, cancel the Florida trip. Like that is what they want you to do. They want you to not spend it. And the reason's simple, folks. It's just math. If you spend your money, they take a pay cut. If you enjoy your retirement, you take a pay cut. If you do any of those four splurges, they take a pay cut. There is a fundamental problem with the 1% AUM model, assets under management, that you're getting charged right now. It's like 90% of the public. And that's why I wrote Fire Your Financial Advisor to expose this. It doesn't make any sense to pay based the ze- off the zeros in your bank account because it creates a conflict between you and your advisor. You want, the advisor wants to make money. You want to enjoy your money, but you can't have both. And that is the inconvenient truth. That's why we believe flat fee pricing is the only way to do it right. Regardless of the zeros in your bank account, we charge a flat fee because we know it's the right thing to do. We also know that we're doing the same amount of work for each client, regardless of the zeros. And by doing that, we're violently aligned. I don't care how much money you spend. It doesn't affect me at all, subconsciously or consciously. I want you to go out and go on those extra trips. I want you to spend that extra, you know, that extra dream car, that old 1970 Chevelle, the old SS 454. You know what I'm talking about, Randy. You know, go out and get that car. Go to Florida. And I can tell you something that hits home for me. Um, So my dad isn't even 70 yet. Um, My mom, I'm sorry, mom, you're 70. I I just told the whole world. Um, I know. Don't be mad at me. But it, it requires context. They've been retired for five or six years. And, and, and I share this story because the splurge concept is very important. It's taken them this long to realize, let's do some fun stuff. Now, they're, you know, they went from like going to Florida for a week to going to Florida for a month and then Florida for maybe a month and a half. And now what are they doing this New Year's? They're taking all of us down to Mexico for New Year's. My mom doesn't get very excited about a lot of things. And I could tell how much this meant to her. To be able to have her whole family together, just hers, all hers, and to be able to give that to us in a way that yeah, it, it was it was emotional, man. It, it, seeing her, you know, be like, "This is th- this would make me so happy if we could do this." And then I asked, you know, let's 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 divide it all up. And it was never like, "Hey, we'll pay for it." And then once we got it all set up, she's like, "Mom and Dad are taking care of it." Gra- you know, you know, or Grandpa, and Grandma are taking care. Of it. We want to do this for the whole family. And and I, I just think to myself, if you're laying on your deathbed. Are you going to be like, I'm so glad Fisher got me those 13% returns? Or are you going to be like, I am thinking about that New Year's Eve on the beaches with my grandkids in Mexico with my entire family having the time of our lives. 
That's the kind of splurge that you should be thinking about in life. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then come get one of our income tents. I I promise they will empower you to show you you're not going to run out of money. You don't need to take on as much risk. You don't need to be worried about you know, every news headline that comes across TikTok. These are the things that are built to keep you in their system. We want to pull you out. And the roadmap is a great way to get you out of their system. 